if you like, if you do music and you just cater to your people, to me that's not music. You got to cater to everybody. Okay. You know, mm. you know, if somebody can speak your dialect, try to convince them how to do, speak a dialect. Like you know, you could do co collabs with all these American artists, but if they don't understand your dialect, like come on, you like you know, you could say like a jupa, you know, kilo shelle, what's happening, you know, you know, give them some some of your ethnic background. Stop trying to be the Western world so much because the Western world is not accepting your music, but you're accepting their music. Okay. So they makes you look like a fool. Introducing Dr. Jacris in damages, damage more, 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 more fire and they see pepper. Hey. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City. Yeah. Yes, yes. New York City is so great that Albert Einstein's eyeballs are stored in a safe deposit here in the city. Oh yes, oh yes. Yeah, there are two of them, you know. I guess I guess in the future the city plans to use the eyeballs to see tomorrow. What? Yeah, that, I mean that's why they are keeping it. Now now that is if his hair will let them see through what is there. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, the future of this United States is now in question. Whoa. Yes, yes. Thanks to President Barack Obama. I'm sure you heard the story. Obama negotiated with terrorists. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. You didn't say to fear what? To fear what? He even released five hardcore terrorists in exchange for, for an American soldier captured in Afghanistan some five years ago. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now, 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 watch, watch the sorry exchange that has embarrassed the United States of America. Watch. Abomination. Yeah. Now Americans are mad as hell. Yeah. Republicans in Congress are threatening to impeach Barack Obama no, for yeah. breaking the law. Oh, okay. The law says that any president from Abraham Lincoln down to the present one mm. must tell Senator John McCain 30 days before accepting a phone call from a terrorist organization. Really? Wow. But Obama, in his cockiness, did not. Of course. Now, 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 to distract Americans from the topic, Obama leaked this video of himself walking out yeah. in a gym in Poland. Watch. The man no even get uh, muscles or anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah? so tall, tall, he no tall. Fat, he no fat. Ikebe, he no get. Eh? <laughs> anyway, fortunately, that did not trick anyone. It did not change the conversation. Mm. No. In a poll by CBS News, they asked Americans what they now think about Obama after this abomination. 40% oh, of people said they will still drink beer with Obama. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. Another 40% said they still want him deported to Kenya. No. <laughs> the surprising number was the 20% that said 
they are now willing to exchange him for that clueless and corrupt guy who governs that country where some school children have been abducted for over 50 days. Oh, wow. <laughs> Their simple reason is it's very simple. These stupid Americans said that the clueless guy will cause less harm for them than this Obama. Oh. Yes, 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 I know, I know. It's been more than 50 days since yes. over 200 school children oh of Chibok we are abducted in Barona State. Yes. 50 days and 50 nights. Yeah, in the forest of Sambisa. Yes. Yeah. Now, didn't the Israelites spend only 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness? No, 40 years. It's daisy in this modern age. Yeah. And God showed them the way to the promised land. Yes. Now, what is holding up this time with our girls? Could it be that because the Nigerian leaders are busy doing something else. Could it be? Watch this bunch of leaders. Watch. The House plenary started in a very slow pace with very little on the day's agenda besides the presentation of bills and two motions. But this soon changed after the Deputy Majority Leader of the House, Representative Leo Ogo, raised a motion challenging the occupants of the seats of the Minority Leader, Minority Whip, Deputy Minority Leader and Deputy Minority Whip of the House of Representatives by members of the All Progressives Congress, APC, without the consent and impedes of the Labour Party, the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, and the Accord Party. They have violated the spirits of the House. I consider them interlopers. <laughs> they have usurped the clear responsibility of the other political parties. And I think, Mr. Speaker, that it behoves on us to insist that they vacate those seats till we get a number of people that will represent this party. Wow. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, let, let's see, let's see. This week, President Goodluck Jonathan performed the opening ceremony of his party's university, Pastor Ayo Oriso Jaffo. Mm -hmm. The university is called the Eagle Height University. Now, 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 it's called, it's called Ego High because the money you must have in your bank account before you can afford to send your kids to that school must go that high. <laughs> it was a very colorful event, you know. It showed that Pastor Oriso Jaffo has come very far mm -hmm. from the days when he used to smoke weed by okay. the roadside. Oh, yeah, he used to, yeah, but now he's gone far. Many of you have written me to ask why the president felt he must go to such an event. Mm -hmm. why? Now, now, according to presidential sources who spoke to my crack reporters, <laughs> there are two main reasons. Other than being the pastor's friend, the president is looking for a friendly school where his wife, Patient Jonathan, will uh, uh, go for some sandwich courses. <laughs> yeah, you know the one she got from University of Port Harcourt has expired. The other reason is the one that you and I know. As, as the president prepares to retire, he's looking for a school that will hire him as a professor without demanding to see his PhD thesis. <laughs> you know he didn't, he was copy and paste, copy and paste. <laughs> now, why are you looking at me like that? If now you unko, uh, if you have that kind of connection, won't you use it? So while uh, premium times, you know them, why premium times and some people like OBE as a question, like, are counting the number of days our girls have been kept in captivity. Punch newspaper and some other Nigerians have moved on. They are now counting the number of days before the World Cup starts in Brazil. Yay! Yes, yes, they moved on. Yeah. This week, the long-awaited list came out. Super Eagles coach Stephen Keshe released the names of the chosen ones. This Keshe of a man, eh? he dropped good players like uh, Sondemba. Uh, and the other one that fixes matches. What is his name again? The one that, you know, uh, Tony Anini. How are we going to win without the guy that will fix the matches for us? How are we going to win? Anyway, anyway, Keshi surprised football fans the most with his choice of defenders. He picked the big man of Nigeria called the Nigerian Nightmare, doing Okube as a defender. <laughs> yes, yes, this week, Okube went on a friendly tour. Yeah, he, he traveled to Britain and to United States, showing off his skills as a defender. 
On his way to the BBC studios in London, <laughs> he met the former Minister of Education and the current leader of the, what's that called? Bring Back Our Girls protest, Obi Ezekwesole. At a London airport, Okupe went to shake Obi's hand and Obi did not feel like shaking his hand. Yeah, that, that was it. How dare you snub the attack lion? He made Okupe go crazy. He went on Twitter blah, 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 and said that Obi, Obi, Obi was not a good Christian. <laughs> now, now, Okube said that as a good doctor who knows his weight, you know, his weight in gold, um, he could smell a Christian from, from a handshake. <laughs> now, Okube also said that Obi was jealous of the finance minister, Ngo Baby, Ngo Konjiwala. He's, he said that Ngo's career is shining while Obi's career has collapsed. To the point that Obi is only doing nothing but sit down on, on the park talking to unemployed youths. I know, I know, I know. I'm not qualified to defend Obi. But I just want to say that I do not appreciate the way Okube is dragging Ngo Baby into this matter. Ngo Baby is tired of bringing back our girls then. And she said it. She said it, watch. ABC News America, can I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I'm tired of the same story. I'm sure you, know? you are, but yeah, uh, you know, maybe it's an important story. I'm not a government spokesperson. Whoa. Yeah! Wow. So, so leave her out of this, Okube. Okube, leave her. Anyway, Okube was on BBC's Hard Talk program. Mm -hmm. And he finished the man. He showed the man who is the man. What? So what a terrible indictment of your security forces. They know exactly where these girls are, but it appears they are completely impotent to actually deliver their rescue. Stephen, I'm surprised that you're saying that. You know, the Americans, you know, the Americans were held hostage, hostage. 20, 54 of them were held hostage in Tehran in 1979 or something like that. It took the American government 140, I mean, 444 days to free them. Why are you talking like this? 444, this one and a half years, they know, the, they know the venue, it is their embassy, they could not get those hostages released for 444 yes, days. their hostages happen to be in the middle of Tehran. Your, yeah, has, your hostages, hostages, these your hostages, hostages to be in the are middle on, of Zambisa Forest. Exactly, which is, which is sovereign Nigerian territory. Yes, which is extremely very difficult to, to, uh, to navigate. This gets to the number of it, know, doesn't it? The number of girls, yeah, number get, of girls make get, it you, extremely very difficult for you, us because we don't want to lose any of the girls. Wittingly or you, not. The whole world, well, the on, whole, you know, on. just hold on, you hold on. The whole of the world, you know, is concerned. Everybody is, uh, is worried, but we have a greater body. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Stop that, stop that. What is that thing by the side? Is, is he growing breast? Huh? Is, is the man growing breast? Anyway. <laughs> so, so what was I saying? Uh -huh. The World Cup fever is everywhere. The Nigerian Senate President, David Mack, has converted senators to prayer warriors. For the next few weeks, they will suspend making laws, uh -huh. as if they make any law. <laughs> and just spend their days praying for Nigeria's success at the World Cup. I mean, I mean, that is a waste of time, a waste of manpower, a waste of pepper soup time. Eh? If Nigeria needs help, there is someone who has an effective way to help them. Hey, I'm talking about the Ghanaian medicine man, Kweku Bonson. <laughs> yes, yes, for Ghana's chance to improve, the man has used his juju to cause Portugal's best striker, Ronaldo, to break his legs. <laughs> now, now I have, some of you know, I happen to be a close friend of Kweku. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If Nigeria is serious and wants to break some legs, they can get in touch with me and I'll hook them up with my homeboy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, the other alternative is to visit Prophet T.B. Joshua. Yeah. But since that Ghanaian boxer, what's his name again? That boxer, since they beat, beat up TV Joshua. Yeah, Powers, he beat up TV Joshua. Things have been rough for the man of God. I will kill him. He's talking pretty. The time will come. You see the darkness that time cover the sky. Don't worry, Ghanaians. I eat the powers. He's starting like a Mickey Jesus. He said TV Joshua. TV Joshua, he don't know nothing. I go beat I eat the powers and I go beat TV Joshua too. We need also, this week, one of his pastors defected. The guy moved from PDP to APC. <laughs> the man started his own church. And, and it's not just that. He set up his church right in front of TB Joshua's synagogue. Wow. 
he dresses like TV Joshua and copies his mannerism, you know, like. <laughs> now, now, Prophet TB Joshua has warned his church members not to go to the new church. Yeah, but TB Joshua's worshippers, you know, they, their IQ is kind of low. Um, they get confused as to which of the church is the real one. Now, I, I know, I know you can, I, how you can tell the difference. If you are in a church and you look up and you don't see human skulls stuck up there, you know, people who are making their way to heaven at the wrong time, you are in the wrong church. <laughs> in our only in America story, a woman in Tennessee dragged her infant down the aisle on her wedding train. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not making this up. Mm -hmm. People who do not mind their own business were up in arms as if it's their baby. I know, right? Asked why she did that, the woman said <laughs> that she trapped the man with the pregnancy. And as such, the baby should have a prominent role at the wedding. I will now pause for you to take that all in. Mm. Great, great. I'm happy that despite what Hollywood is telling you, you know that not all Americans are nuts. <laughs> not all of them. Some, some, some have their senses. In science news, a new study shows that female named hurricane kills more people than male named hurricane. Mm. This, this is scientific. Nobody knows why. But it's true. This is something I've been telling you week after week. Kosi or Jacko is more dangerous than Charlie Boy. <laughs> For two reasons, and I don't have to mention, two, two big reasons, I don't have to mention it. Now, here are some stories making headlines across Nigerian newspapers this week. Ibuinedion broke after losing 3.3 billion naira to Venezuelan conmen. Did you hear what I said? Three point. This man was a former governor of Edo State. What an insult to the National Association of Nigerian Commen. What an insult. This man is a member, a certified member of the Nigerian Commen. How could you lose to Venezuelan Commen? Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Femi Fani Kayode returns to the PDP. <laughs> you know the guy, the former minister of aviation. His nose is still bleeding from... You know what I mean? <laughs> which, means, which means his return means that Oduduwa Republic has lost another one. Oh. Another one. Eh? Terrible. Jonathan didn't believe girls were abducted, says former President Olu Shegun of Basanjo. <laughs> I know, I know. How could he believe when the Americans had not told him? Eh? Uh -huh. How? I'm old enough to be Amosun's father, says former Governor Oshoba. <laughs> yeah. My man, my man, what are you waiting for? Eh? Get a kuboko and show him pepe. Yeah. You don't have to tell us. Boko Haram will kill Chibok pupils if military uses force, says General Jamie Bewon. Yeah. So, so let me, let me, let, let me, let me see. Let them use candy. All we want to know is that they got them back. Yeah? We don't care. Whatever you need. The U.S. should be fixing their economy instead of claiming to help us, says Chimaman Dangozi Adichie. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I didn't know that I don't reach this level, eh? Very, very soon they start collecting back their awards. <laughs> Sunday Mba lacks hunger, says Stephen Keshi. Eh? If you chop, they go talk. If you no chop, they go talk. <laughs> the video graduates from Babok University. Congrats, my man. Congrats, congrats. As part of your degree, eh, I could see that you got the cock, but what about the bab? The what? <laughs> Babok, he got the cock, but he didn't get the bab. He got the cock, but not the bab. Yeah. Ba I don't know. <laughs> it's time for your email. <laughs> it's time for your email. So do we have emails today? Of course, every day. Let's hear them. Okay. Our first email is from Anthony in the UK. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, I have been an ardent viewer of your program since I relocated to the UK in 2008 and have been able to control the urge to write to you. Uh, However, I was compelled to write after seeing how ravishing and beautiful Tomato Just was on episode 137. Yeah, I know they love. This, I believe, is an evidence that you have increased her monthly salary. Uh -huh. You didn't, too. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Uh -huh. I wouldn't mind having both her phone number and cell phone number and account number. Bank account? 
I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, Nigerian. There's you no, guys There's talk no money in that. So go ahead. Go ahead. That. Okay. No money. By the way, <laughs> you're. St- <laughs> All the money. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Keep going, keep going. By the way, your sarcasm is spot on and your commentary incisive. It's a pity most of us viewers are not wise enough to see beyond the comedy associated with the program. Keep up the good work and hope the evil of Abuja don't get you. Thank you so much, my man, for noticing that I increased her pay. Eh? She didn't say a word of it. From where? But when my check was bouncing, you hear her talking blah, 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 there is a God, oh. though. There is a God. <laughs> and you are part of that God by pointing this out. Next. God don't have nothing to do with this. <laughs> anyway, our second email is from Tux in Alberta, Canada. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, thanks for giving my opinions a window to see the, the world through your spectacular show. It is a matter of interest and agenda, and not time, before Boko Haram overruns the entire nation from north to south. The saddest thing is that Nigerians in the south are so unconcerned about these issues. Many don't even know what's going on. That's true. They just do their business, drink beer in joints, and watch Nollywood or Peace Square videos. I'll go chop your money. <laughs> I'll go chop your money. Our leadership must wake up from its slumber and fight corruption at all levels. Finally, I wish to say that each day I watch your show, I wish that you will someday find something positive to say about Nigeria. I love your show because you guys are simply awesome. Before I forget, who is Mama Udoka to you? <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, Tops. About, about Nigerians in the South who are in denial. They've been saying to themselves, if we do nothing but watch and pray, uh, that nothing will happen. But I tell you, what goes around comes around. We hope that one day we will find some good things to say about Nigeria. Um, in the meantime, uh, about Mamudoka, she is my official wife, you know what I mean? Uh, the official one, the one I took to church. But there are other ones who are not yet uh, on TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? The other ones who are not yet on TV, but you know, that's a personal thing. But thank you so much for writing. Next! I'll pray for you. Uh, <laughs> Our third email is from Moses, he writes. Hello, Dr. Moses. Damages. I, I know him. We were close before but Moses is in the Bible no I know him close. too we used to drink <laughs> pepper soup but you know something happened go ahead <laughs> Moses from the Bible no no this one this oh, one okay go ahead anyway hello Dr. Damages I am a regular viewer of your show and a fan of you because I think you only want good things to happen I also like the pretty lady who's reading the up uh, air eh? Yay. Anyway, who is reading the email? I do not belong to any political party, oh, neither do I meet with any of the governors of the, or the president. Please, Dr. Damages, protect the image of my country, Nigeria. People keep saying bad things about the president and other political office holders without knowing that Nigeria as a nation is also being negatively affected by those comments. What? Because Nigerians are exposing the weaknesses of their country to people outside, they are also... They are also being maltreated by the outsiders. If I know that y- your people at home don't respect you, I too will not respect uh, you. Insulting your political leaders also means assaulting your country where what? you were born. What? You cannot be a good leader without being a good follower. And you cannot be a good follower by abusing your leaders. Only advise your leaders and pray for their success. Nigeria is a country in which you can get many good things that are not in other countries. Thank you. Moses, Moses. <laughs> I feel your pain. Mm-hmm. I love our country too. But I am not the one being arrested abroad with stolen government money, you know? I am not the one saying that stealing is, is not corruption. Mm. I am not the one buying discarded drones from Israel. Those are the people messing up your country. Messing up the name of your country, not me. You can keep respecting them, praying for them. But for me and Mamu Doka, we will keep exposing them until they stop dancing <laughs> uh, on the streets. That's, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> Next! Hey. Our fourth email is from Lukman Alim. He writes, Hi, Dr. Damages. My kudos goes to my darling Dr. Damages that have been damaging anything damageable since the first episode. Thank you, my man. I <laughs> my, know. my sincere greetings to Tomato Just as well and mm-hmm. all the crews that make Sahara program possible for us. My question to you is that I have been wondering what Mazi Anunti had been doing at the confab because he haven't we haven't heard any reports from him since day one. Uh, Hope he hasn't taken the roots of Abati and doing quickly. 
Mr. <laughs> Shut up your mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, my friend. Um, um, uh, look, man. Anunti has gone a war. Mm -hmm. Someone said he has been spending his night with Abuja hookers. Hey. That he hardly comes <laughs> to the conference venue anymore. <laughs> the old man is lost. We try to call him, he won't answer. Hey. But um, we're sending some drones. <laughs> we're sending drones. We're gonna pick him up soon. Just watch. Next. Our fifth email is from Ali, Ali Uti. Hello, doctor. How are you and how is Tomato Joss? I write to show my appreciation to your highly entertaining program, enlightening program. You are really trying to be called a spade a spade. Nigerian leaders are not only wicked, but also crazy. So they need psychiatric treatment. <laughs> Ali, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. What will happen is this. We, when we upgrade, when we upgrade our, our facility, mm -hmm. When we're done, we're going to bring a shrink. A shrink will be here to sit these people down and talk to them. Imagine patient Jonathan sitting down on the sofa and what will come out of her mouth. <laughs> it's coming. Just, just stand by. Next. Our sixth email is from Ahmed from London. He writes, long time Dr. Damages. Oh. Though I never miss my main course Dr. Damages show. But I realized that Tomato Joss's name doesn't fit her because I can't see the two jaws in front. <laughs> All I can see is the back jaws from her side. What? <laughs> Seriously, I'm sharing your shows on Facebook. I wish I could be working for Sahara TV in uh, Europe because I really love what you guys are doing. And let's keep on enlightening our people. Ah, uh, my friend, my friend. I will deal with you later. My friend, Tomato Joss or Tomato Joss, I don't know. This man said, what was he trying to say? <laughs> I will deal with him later. You are later. confusing me. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Amen. Anyway, anyway, you can work for Sahara wherever you are, mm -hmm. even in Europe. You just report yourself. Mm -hmm. Kajiko, next. <laughs> yeah, I, our I, final I email our is from Emma. I spoke my language, our language. Well, Go ahead. Whatever that means. Our final email is from Emeka Emmanuel in Malaysia. He writes, I'm very much disappointed with your, com with your comment about our first lady, what? and I have one question for all of you. Is the office of the first country, is it based on education or marriage? Why must you people want our president to go to Chibok? What, what is he going to do there? I thought he said one question. Can, <laughs> I don't know. Keep I'm going. just reading. Keep going. Can you also show me the parents of those missing girls where you interviewed them? Why Hausa and Yoruba want the office of the president so much? Where was Boko Haram when Musa was the president? What? I just want to inform you that Gulag Jonathan is Nigeria's last president, and there's nothing anyone can do about that. And we are ready to fight. Nigeria is dead, and Biafra, we stand hey. thanks. Emeka, Emeka, I am sorry you feel disappointed in me. Hey. I'm very sorry. You are not alone. Emeka is mad. You are not alone. <laughs> I feel your pain. The truth is that you don't have to worry about anything. I can see that you have figured it all out. So no need trying to answer your questions. Otherwise, I would have answered all of them. Hmm. Yeah. For me, the only thing that I know is that I need to know so much before I know how little I know. Eh? Yes, yes. That's all the time we have for emails. <laughs> Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's taken from the movie Manhattan by Woody Allen. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It says, talent is luck. The important thing in life is courage. Hmm. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Thank you, thank Woo! you, thank you. Woo! So, you know, what was that jaw? So, the, the jaw and the... Uh, I will deal with Ahmed hey, hey. from UK. I will deal with you wow. later. Wow. But so you are going to join Anunzi in the prostitution? Uh, no, no, no. no. I, that, I, <laughs> I, 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 that's his business. I mean, we are trying to save yeah, him now. He's him, lost. Eh?